Hi guys, my name is Holly, and today I'm gonna to be doing an absolute beginner tutorial for how to make a bouquet of lavender. So what you're gonna need for this project, I recommend cotton yarn because it's just gonna look a lot better in cotton. So I'm using the Premier Cotton Fair yarn. It is, so this one is half cotton, half acrylic. Just get one that's mostly cotton. That's just what's gonna make it look best. This is fine and it recommends using a 4.5 millimeter hook. So that's what I have right here. For the base of the flower, for the stem, you're gonna need some kind of wire. I just got this from the jewelry section of like Joann's or Michael's or anything like that. And then the last thing you're gonna need is a hot glue gun. So we're gonna use this to attach it together to make it nice and sturdy. All right, let's go. All right, so we're gonna start with our purple yarn and our 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. I'm gonna start by just making a slip knot right at the end. And pull it nice and tight on your hook. And now we're gonna chain 80 stitches. All right, so now that we have our 80 stitches, we're gonna to begin to make the little bumps on the lavender. This is about how long 80 stitches should be. It doesn't have to be exact. That's one of the things I love about this pattern is that if you're off by a little bit or if you make little mistakes, you're not gonna be able to see it in the end. So once we've made it to the end of our 80 stitches, we are going to do a slip knot into the fourth chain on the hook. So we have the first chain, second chain, third chain, fourth chain, right there. So all we're gonna do is insert, insert, yarn over, pull through, and pull through again. So you're gonna have this little like bump at the end. Now we're gonna slip stitch into the next stitch. And slip stitch and pull through. Next, we're gonna chain three. So we wanna do one, two, three. Once we've done our chain three, we're gonna look back at the original chain. So this one right here. And we're gonna slip stitch into the next stitch. So I'm gonna insert, yarn over, pull through, pull through. And then I'm gonna do another slip stitch into the next stitch. So insert, yarn over, pull through, pull through. And now we're just gonna repeat this pattern. So once we've done our two slip stitches, we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. Now we're gonna go back to our original chain. We're gonna insert into the next stitch. So we're gonna insert, yarn over, pull through, pull through for a slip stitch. You're always gonna do two slip stitches in a row. So into the next stitch, we're gonna insert, yarn over, pull through, pull through. Now we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. Gonna insert into the next stitch, slip stitch, and we're gonna do two slip stitches in a row like we always do. So two in a row. So this is what it should kind of be looking like, like a little bit of a bumpy little thing like this. So I'll show you, let's show you two more times. So we've done our two slip stitches. We're gonna chain three. One, two, three. We're gonna insert into the next stitch. Do a slip stitch. Insert into the next stitch. Do another slip stitch. 
Then we're going to chain three, two, three. And we're going to go into the next stitch and do our two slip stitches. So there's one slip stitch, and then we go into the next stitch. There's our other slip stitch. So just continue this pattern until you get all the way to the end of the row. The last one may not end exactly perfectly depending on how many stitches you do, but again it is okay if it's not perfect because we're just going to be wrapping it around a piece of wire in the end and you won't be able to see it. We just want this general shape of the bumps. So I'll meet you at the end. Alright, so once you get to the end, I'm going to do my last chain three. So one, two, three. I'm going to insert into my last two stitches. So I'm going to do my last two slip stitches. Maybe a little tricky for the last ones. So yep, there we go. Last two. And then I'm going to cut the end of my yarn from the spool. And I'm going to pull this all the way through. So this is what it should look like when you're done. Okay, so next we're going to take our wire and we're going to cut a piece off of it. It's about this long. You can customize the length. I like it to be, I would say, about the length of my forearm just because that gives you like a nice length to have a decent bouquet. So you're just gonna take the wire, cut it. This is where our green yarn and our glue gun comes in. Okay, so you just need a tiny little bit of glue just right on the tip. So I do a little bit of glue and then I'm going to just lay the string over it so it'll catch. Try not to touch the glue because it's still going to be very hot. So I kind of just do it like that. Wrap the excess around. And then I'm just going to continue wrapping it all the way down your piece of wire. until Do it until you get all the way to the other end. Okay, so then as we are getting to the end, we're just going to do our final rolls. And then we're going to take our hot glue gun again. Tiny dot to the end. I'm going to wrap this around. Just let it stay. And then once it's dry, you can cut the ends. So you should be left with this. All right, so next we're gonna take one of our finished pieces of lavender. We're gonna add to that same little dot just to the top. So a little bit of glue. And then you're gonna take your lavender, just pop it right on the top like that. Just wait for it to stick. And then once it's stuck, you're gonna just wrap your lavender all the way around your little stem until it looks how you want. You can either do it loose or you can do it tight and it's gonna give you a different look. So just experiment with what you like. So I tend to like it a little bit more tight. So I'm gonna make sure it's all wrapped around at the top. You might have a little stem poking out. So I try and like wrap it up a little bit. You can also add more glue later. And then you're just gonna start wrapping it around like this. Every so often I like to kind of push the lavender up because it looks better if it's pointed up. I'm just gonna keep doing that. So that's what it looks like if it's wrapped really tightly. I'll go about halfway and then undo it and show you guys what it looks like if you do it loosely. So that's really tightly. That's what your lavender is gonna look like. 
So if I undo it, just kind of loosen it up a little bit. This is why we do the green up the whole way because then when you have it a little bit looser, you're still seeing some of the green. It actually looks really pretty. So then you're gonna wrap it all the way down until you run out. When that's what it should look like. So once you get all the way to the bottom, we're gonna hot glue. So I kind of know where I want the end to go, so I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue right at the end. And then I'm gonna finish by wrapping it around, just like that, poking it up. And then you're gonna cut it off. And that is what your lavender looks like. So once you finish your lavender, you can add it into a cute little bouquet like this. So all I did for this was I wrapped it in just brown paper and then with a little bit of like plastic wrap or like cellophane, and then I just tied it with a bow and I added some tulips. So I might do a tutorial for the tulips as well later, but you can make a really pretty one just out of lavender. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the tutorial, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And let me know in the comments if there's anything else that you want tutorials of. Alright, bye-bye.